All right, listen up. If you are trying to lose weight, the three things I'm going to be talking about in today's video are game changers. So if you're not already doing them, then you need to be. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time landing on one of my videos, welcome. My name is Stasia and this channel is all about health and weight loss content following a whole food plant-based diet. I am feeling great, I'm feeling fantastic, and I am super excited that Christmas is around the corner. So Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate it. I hope you all have a beautiful and safe holiday. Okay, so as of recently, I am down 10 pounds and I've been journaling and keeping track of everything I've been doing, certain things I've been tweaking to be sure to share it with all of you. Some of my biggest issues when it comes to weight loss is that A, I'm a volume eater, hence why this way of eating is perfect for someone like me, and B, I'm a stress slash emotional eater. So I'm constantly looking for things that can help me out with both of those issues. And literally the three things I'm going to be sharing today have been everything. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I've been doing that I've talked a lot about in my most recent videos is I'm eating more vegetables. This has been huge for me and I'm going to show you why. I wanted to show all of you what one pound of veggies looks like. So here I'm just throwing in some frozen veggies straight out of my freezer onto a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper and I'm gonna roast these at 400 degrees for probably almost about an hour or so. But I just wanted to show you guys what one pound of veggies looks like. And let me tell you something, there's only a hundred calories in a pound of vegetables. So this has actually been something I've been doing to lose the 10 pounds is increase the vegetables. I eat them when I'm hungry in between meals. I eat them before I start my meal and it is changing everything for me. So I've actually just put together an exact meal plan, a set of guidelines that I've been following. And come 2023, I'm even going to be tightening the reins even a little bit more. So if any of you are interested in knowing exactly what I'm doing, I will leave the link in my description box below of the meal plan that I'm following and I put it together so you guys can follow it too. So if you are interested in doing a weight loss reset or a jump start to your weight loss in general, especially starting in January, 2023, then definitely check out my meal plan and see if it's for you. So when it comes to vegetables, they are an anytime food. You can eat them between meals if you're hungry, you can eat them before your meals. They are just an excellent way that you can eat more food and still lose weight. Okay, so second thing, limit or stop the snacking altogether if you can help it. And going back to number one, if you do feel like snacking, snack on vegetables or even fruit is okay. But snacking is a huge one. The reason why is what I'm finding is the less that I snack, the bigger my meals can be because there's not all these mindless added calories throughout the course of my day by just snacking on things that, you know, maybe I'm just eating because I'm, you know, just doing it out of habit or bored or stress eating or emotionally eating. So I'm really trying to tap into not mindlessly snacking. Now, snacking when you're hungry is something completely different. I always encourage you to listen to your body, listen to those hunger cues, so eat if you're hungry. But I know I'm guilty of snacking when I'm actually not truly hungry. So that's the type of snacking I'm talking about. So if you can try to be more aware and limit the snacking, then what's going to happen is you're gonna be able to have lots of extra food when you actually sit down to your good hearty meal and you're still going to lose weight because your overall calories in that day are still going to be in a deficit. Okay, and lastly, stop drinking your calories. You might be surprised if you stop drinking your calories, how much more food you can actually eat. Because unfortunately, even though liquid calories don't feel like they're doing anything to us, it's equivalent to the same amount of calories as if you were to eat them. So it's kind of tragic in a way because you're still using up your daily calorie allowance, let's say, whatever that is for your body, but you're not actually like feeling it, you know, because liquid does not fill us up. So it's easy to drink a glass of juice down or drink that coffee with vegan creamer in it. They're still high in calories, just so you know you know, it, it really adds up over the course of a day. So if you cut out those liquid calories, then you are going to be able to eat more and still stay in that calorie deficit. I know that some of you might be even feeling like, you know, you, you can't give up that morning coffee with the cream or whatever it is, whatever liquid that you might drink throughout the day. But I'm telling you, it will make a difference in the amount of food 
it allows you to eat because some of these drinks can be onwards up to like 300 calories in one serving. 300 calories in a whole food plant-based diet is a lot of food. It's a lot of food. <laughs> So I definitely recommend limiting those liquid calories and eating your calories instead. Hey everyone, today's video was just a quick video. And again, if you are interested in a weight loss reset, then check out the link in my description box below. I'm personally pumped. I am so excited to spend Christmas and New Year's with my family. It's been three years with everything that was going on in the world that I've actually even been able to spend a real Christmas with my family. So I am super excited. I'm going to be enjoying it just like the rest of you, hopefully. Hopefully, but I am also kind of excited about starting the new year off the right way. In January, I'm going to be posting a lot of what I eat in the day videos, showing exactly what I'm doing, updating you guys on the progress of following this meal plan and my guidelines. It will be interesting for those of you who grab a copy as well to also see what your results are. So if you are new here, then definitely hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out in all the fun coming in the new year. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy holidays and we will see you guys in the next one.